Hello and welcome to Daily Red Video. In this episode, we are going to see some of the useful tips and tricks for Telegram Messenger. If you are transitioning from WhatsApp to Telegram, then this video will definitely give you some of the best and useful tips and tricks to help you get the most out of this chat application. And if you're like me who have installed the Telegram on your iPhone and you haven't used it much, you rarely use it, then in this video, you will find some useful tips and tricks, which I would say kind of a hidden tip and tricks which will help you to you know convince and start using this beautiful chat application all right the very first feature that i like to uh, tell you about is saved messages that you can access from uh, telegram settings and then here on the top you will see saved messages it is kind of a personal cloud storage for your telegram account without any storage limit set Yes, you heard me right. There is no storage limit. It is kind of an unlimited storage as uh, Telegram haven't mentioned any limit of storage for the saved messages folder. It is a combination of your Google Drive, Pinterest and uh, any other bookmarking services that you can think of. So it is a personal cloud storage that you can store any type of files and you can retrieve it from within your iPhone or by accessing web.telegram from your computer Safari browser. Like when you visit web.telegram, uh, this will let you to connect your Telegram account to the computer and you can download any data that you have stored on the Telegram saved messages. You know, you can of course chat with your friends and group members uh, from the computer itself you know just like web.whatsapp.com so similar to that the saved messages will store all your cloud storage files and it will act like you know more like a personal cloud storage and you can store any type of files you can forward messages uh, to this saved messages easily so you won't miss it at the same time you can quickly search a particular message uh, with the help of this integrated search feature for this saved messages section alone it is a pure bookmarking service uh, for any type of content and it is uh, it comes with unlimited storage and the next interesting feature is from the all chats window when you click on the chats and this all chats window you can create multiple tabs and keep the chat conversations very organized for example when you go to the settings window you can see the chat folders these folders will allow you to create a tabs like setup on your uh, home screen of the telegram application so here uh, i'm clicking on create new folder um, typing test and add chats i can add all my contacts or non-contacts if i want to group who are not present in my contacts and they just have my number and trying to send me message i can select non-contacts i can select any particular groups or channels or bots here so for example i'm selecting uh, two contacts here and then clicking on done um, and then create so test is created now i'm going to create another one test two add chats and i'm going to create click with robin and then create okay i have created two folders right now and from the chats window as you can see on the top section uh, i'm getting a small a bubble notification also if i receive any messages from that particular grouped um, uh, you know contacts that i have uh, created uh, as a folder and here i can navigate and i can access the particular uh, folder and i can access those contacts uh, easily the next one is schedule messages sometimes we forget to send a message so with the help of this schedule message option uh, we can easily you know schedule a message and on the perfect time it that we scheduled it it'll automatically be sent for example hi i'm sending a hi message all i need to do is long press the send icon and i will be seeing the schedule messages option so i can set a exact time like after how many uh, minutes or how many hours this message has to be sent they also give an option uh, whenever uh, the user comes online send it so this sort of uh, you know easy to manage messaging option you know makes it so unique and so feature rich uh, compared to what WhatsApp. I uh, personally, I believe that and uh, I can schedule it for day after tomorrow. If I want to remind in advance about some function on uh, morning at 8 a.m., then I can schedule it and send it on that particular time. So hi will be sent on that particular time. It's a scheduled message. You will see it there. And the next interesting feature is self-destructing photos and videos. First, it was a feature limited to the secret chat uh, option where uh, you can create a secret chat with any person and you can uh, self-destruct the messages but with the normal
normal chat option also they have uh, now enabled the self-destruct option so here chat window i can simply tap on the attachment icon so click on the photo and video it will open the gallery and then select the photo that you want to send it to the person don't select the tick mark you need to tap on that photo you have to long press the send icon in order to access the hidden controls and here as the third option uh, you can see send it with timer so once the timer completed uh, the message will be automatically destroyed so here i'm clicking on send with timer i'm giving three seconds send with timer so here you can see the message is kind of hidden i'm going to open that message in my another phone um, all right i have uh, opened it and after three seconds you can see automatically uh, the message is expired on my another iPhone. So this is kind of a cool feature if you are very privacy concerned and you want to send any photo or video to a person. And the next one is using masks uh, to decorate your photo, uh, your selfies, anything that you send it to your friend or family members. Tap on this sticker icon option and here you can see uh, there are plenty of stickers available that you can download, that you can easily download right from here. It's kind of a sticker store. And from the settings you can see uh, uh, the masks option is there there are few de default masks that they have downloaded it for your account and you can see them you can delete them if you don't want it uh, but i'm just going to leave it as it is and if i want to use these masks all i have to do is click on this attachment icon and then select the photo that you want to uh, you know edit and use those masks feature um, then uh, click on this markup tool and from here the fourth option is stickers option tap on it and you will see the default stickers whenever you you click on sticker it will be dropped here but we are not going to add stickers right now it is very common feature so we are going to use some masks to spice up the selfie that we have took so here you can see i'm going to add um maybe this one will fit okay and one more mask i like to add is um oh, this one santa cap so it automatically tries to you know find the face uh, where it is and it tries to fit the dress or any items that you try to put and you can of course resize it uh, by pinching and zooming in or zooming out and you can make it a perfect fit so kind of looks a cool costume and you can send it to your friends you know by you know adding some cool masks with your um, you know photos you can see the plenty of options are there readily available from here uh, from stickers and then you need to navigate to masks okay so there you can select plenty of uh, oh it's kind of a sia mask i believe um, so you can select anything from this huge collection of masks and you can spice up the selfie that you have just shot and you can send it to your family and friends and make them smile a little bit the next feature is you know i like to show it to you within this one this is a kind of you know uh, the feature that we will be using it for you know writing something uh, with by choosing the colors here but another hidden feature is you can tap on this and you can slide up a bit to see that the dot the red dot on the center of the icon is increasing and when you try to reduce it here it automatically decreases the size so which means like it is the size of the brush that you're going to use it so for example if I have increased the brush up to here and if I swipe it here then you can see the strength of the brush uh, the breadth of the brush is quite high so I can do it for any colors I can um, adjust the size before you know painting it or writing it on that particular image and uh, I can decide what size the brush have to be I can use it also as a watermark tool there is no separate watermark tool available here if you want to hide some sensitive information then you can use this for that purpose and it will be really useful you can adjust the brush size by swiping up and down uh, on this empty space after selecting the particular color so this will be useful and another hidden option is uh, you can tap on this markup icon and then you will see pen marker neon and arrow these options will give you more controls over the brush that you are uh, using it so this is a neon one so you can use these uh, different brushes while sending a photo to your friend or family member and the next interesting feature is you know that you can send any audio message by clicking on this microphone icon um, i'm just going to speak right now and if i uh, just remove my uh, finger then automatically the message sends and if i want to speak for longer and i don't want to hold the finger 
you know that by swiping up and clicking on the lock screen will keep the audio message sending option to be in a locked position. I don't have to tap and hold the finger all the time. But another interesting feature, what if you want to listen to the conversation before sending it to your friend? All you have to do is swipe up and close the messenger app and you can see the mic was used by the telegram app and when I closed the application it automatically went off. Now open the telegram app and you can see at the bottom you know similar to whatsapp messenger you will see the entire audio clip recorded is available here. You can play this you can uh, confirm whether the message that you're trying to send uh, sounds perfect or not then you can delete it if you don't want otherwise you can send it if you find it perfect. So you can kind of uh, uh, proofreading you know you can listen it once before sending it to your friend so if you want to delete it you can delete it so i hope this also be useful to you when you are a person like me who use the audio message frequently instead of typing plenty of messages and the next interesting feature is sharing a live location for a limited time if you're asking your friend or family member to come to your home or come to your office and they are on the way and they want to know your location and you want to share the exact live location then click on the attachment icon and then click on the location and from the location tab you need to select the second option share my live location for so wherever you are you can uh, your exact location will be shared these three available timings for one hour if you select it for one hour then when when the receiver clicks on this they will be able to access the location for one hour using your cell phone's uh, gps location service after that it will automatically expire and they won't be able to access the location service and they won't be able to uh, know where you are exactly so this is kind of a very useful and privacy uh, you know enabled feature uh, if you want to share the live location with anyone and will be very useful too and the last option is using hashtags if you are typing some messages for example uh, test message and try to use hashtags in order to make this particular message searchable then people can use this hashtag to search and find so for example i'm going to type new year test message and send it and if i want to search it within the uh, particular chat window or from the home page uh, all i need to do is uh, click type on that particular hashtag and new year telegram search is kind of you know something different from whatsapp uh, it also gives you the global search option where uh, if anything similar to the hashtag shared in any public groups uh, you will see them in the first section as you can see uh, the list of groups that uses the same hashtag and same name for the messages in the second section you are seeing with that particular hashtag for uh, you know easily finding it in the future so start using hashtags within the telegram app itself in order to you know make the search and find a lot easier and if you find this video useful don't forget to share this with your friends and followers they will also be able to get the the best out of the telegram messenger application and for more iphone ipad and mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching have a wonderful day